it was here. Um, I'm just going to leave this as three through six because if you go seven or two, it just doesn't work. It gives a warning. Uh, okay. For some reason, this this function doesn't like it. Yeah, it doesn't. It, yeah. Th yeah, it doesn't allow that. I know why. Okay. Yeah. You know why. Yeah. Okay, so I can leave that. that <laughs> yeah, way. that's fine. All right, are you making any progress? All right, people. Whoops. Why don't you try starting with this? Right, so this is the first line. After this, I think there's only one more line, so you're halfway there. So this says, I wanted to, call, I wanted to have a f define a function called quadratic. The input is something called coefficients. This is going to be, right, a, b, and c as a, as a vector. So in other words, a is going to be equal to coefficient 1, and so on and so forth, okay? And then you're going to solve the equation, return the answer. Obviously, there's two roots, right? You calculate both roots. You save the first root in x1. Save the second root in x2. Put a semicolon so it doesn't print out. Okay? So you want to do something like that. So at this point, you just have to write this and then at later at the command line, like you saw I did, you see how I'm using my function? For already created the function and then when I want to use it, I specify the coefficient as a vector here. So you just have to write a function such that when you're provided this coefficient, you can calculate the roots. So obviously there's two roots. You'll need one equation to calculate the first root, the plus one or the minus one is making a difference in the second. What do order doesn't matter? And the first thing you'll learn about programming is normally what you get once you're not confused. Once you think you know what you're doing, right, there's this initial phase of fear, which you're probably still in. But once you think you know what you're doing and then you do it, then you'll usually get errors. It'll say, no, that didn't work. <laughs> That's not the right dimension. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. This is what I have so far. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. Putting like yeah, but you don't want to. Okay. Yeah. That, no, that, that's that's okay. Uh huh. Uh, basically, just where well, to put the periods. No, no. Wait a minute. Okay. So you've got. I don't want this to fall off here. So you've got um, the function. Mm -hmm. You you call. You call x1, x2, which is okay, and you're going to take the coefficients as inputs, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, but then there's no, so this is saying, please set the coefficients to be equal a, b, and c. You, you don't have a, b, and c. There's no a, b, and c defined. I think what you want is to define a, b, and c to be equal to coefficient, right? Because coefficient is what you're given as an input, and you want to write the equation in terms of a, b, and c, right? So you need to find, you want to specify A, B, and C in terms of, you know, this is setting coefficient to be equal to A, B, and C as a vector, okay. but you don't even, you're not even defining A, B, and C. So right. as soon as you run that, it's going to give you an error. It's going to say, yeah. what's A, B, and C? Okay. okay. If you do it the other way around, and when you call this, as long as you provide the coefficients, then it will know what the coefficients are, and therefore it'll be able to specify A, B, and C, and therefore it'll be able to resolve those equations. In other words, turn this thing around, A, B, C equals coefficient. Do you, do you understand the reasoning? Like you're given the coefficients, yeah. right? You're given that as an input. Uh -huh. So if you want to specify the equation in terms of A, B, and C, then you have to specify A, B, and C in terms of the coefficient, not the other way around. Yeah. Think about it. Uh, he's first, then I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, try the following. Change that to just a vector x. Okay. And then tr make that x print c1 and x print c2. So specify the output to be a vector and compute the elements of the vector instead of computing two scalars and see how that works out for you. I bet you'll like that better. That's, that looks identical to mine, I think. Oh, didn't like something. OK, so see the end thing there? I'm not sure my function has an end. Just take the end away. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. That may not be the answer, but give it a shot. Just, just, just say whatever. Try, let's try it again now. Uh, yeah, I'm coming. Sorry, he intercepted me. For this, could you just like put the, like the parameter here, A, B, C? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, but um, yeah, so you could put A, B, and C there, but. Um, yeah, usually in MATLAB you want to do everything as vector calculations if you can. So rather than doing them all as scalars, it's better to specify the input to be a vector of coefficients. But you could certainly put just a b a comma b comma c as inputs if you wanted. That would still work. Yeah. Yep. Here's what I have so far with the script. But when I run the for the first coefficients of one, three, and two. I'm getting a negative 1.25 and a negative 1.75. So I just want to double check. Uh, Is it divide by 2 times A or 2 times C? It's, it's, it's over 2A. Okay. Yeah, so you have an error. The code is right. I mean, the code works, but it doesn't calculate the right answer. So you have an error in your equation for x1 and x2, I think. All right. So because I care, I'm going to show you the answer now. So just in case you got stuck, I just want, want you to try first. So that's, that's what my code looks like. It's pretty simple. Looks identical to what you just created. Um, so I create this function. It takes in the coefficients as a vector. Okay. The first element of the vector is A. The second element is B. The second element is C. How do I know that? Because that's how I call it. When I call this thing to use it, I specify them in that order. Okay. Um, I prefer to write my equation in terms of A, B, and C because it really becomes unwieldy to put coefficient print A and 2 and 3 everywhere in the equation. You know what debugging a piece of code means? You will. It means you run this thing and it doesn't work. <laughs> so then you have to figure out what went wrong. And if you understand, you could directly put coefficient 2 here and coefficient A there, and then it looks so unwieldy, it's really hard to fix. So usually it's better to redefine things in terms of things that are familiar like A, B, and C. Then I calculate the first root, doesn't matter, but in, for this case it's the plus one. Then I calculate the minus one, and then I put the two in a vector. You can do this lots of different ways. Like someone asked me, could you, instead of defining this to be a vector, could you just have A, comma, B, comma, C? Yes, you could do it that way. And you also don't need to do this. You could compute X print C1 and X print C2, and then you don't even have to do that right there. You see? But the point is, it expects a vector output. You have to give it to it. So either you calculate scalars and make a vector out of them, or you calculate elements of a vector to begin with. Either way. Yeah? Um, I don't know if I should just talk to you after, but mine always like, outputs like an answer, regardless of whether I suppress everything. So like, it'll work. And so at first I just did it with the ABC. So this is what I have. Mm -hmm. And so when I run it, it gives me this answer thing, which isn't right. It's just the first root, and then if I, oops, sorry. if I unsuppress that output there, it gives me both of the correct roots, but still gives me this weird variable answer, which I don't know where that's coming right, from. Right, okay. So see, the problem here is that, see the, what you, see this function here thing? Yeah. See, it only, so make that just x. Inside my yeah, output? Yeah, just x. And then put the semicolon back behind where you had it down, here? down there, yeah, because you never want stuff from a function printed out. Okay, now try it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, 
So that was based on the way that I structured my output arguments, which is why it was those. Yeah, I was just giving you the first one of those two. I'd, yeah. I'd ha I'm not sure exactly why. I have to okay. think. I'd have to think about it. But okay. generally, in MATLAB, you want to do everything vector inputs and vector outputs. Okay. Yeah. So that's why instead of doing A, B, and C, I prefer to provide it. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So if I have the same script as you here, the function, uh -huh. then when I'm running it in the command window, am I supposed to be running like uh, what the code define what the coefficients are, and then run just x like quadratic of coefficient? Uh, yeah. Can you maybe step out of there? <laughs> it's just so hard for me to see what you you do. Could you, okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. So you have your function create. Does it look like that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So then you could define your function, right? Hit return, and then you could issue, a, okay, hit return now. Okay, and then you can hit a command that looks like X equal. Do you have to put spaces between? No, I just prefer okay. that, yeah. I didn't know if it was No, it's not required, it just looks neater to me. Okay. And I'm, I'm like that. Okay, then you can put, okay, that, that should work. Oops, so it says, see when you get something like that, that means you have an error. You can click on that. It'll take you right to the place where it thinks your error is. Okay. So. Okay. Why does it? The B looks like it's in a different font color, <laughs> something like that. Coefficient. Maybe it's just my the way I'm looking at it here. A B two. Oh, okay. So um, you see what you have an extra parentheses there. You see, oh, and you line. see how it's got that squiggly thing? Yeah. It, it, that means it that thinks means you've got an error in that line, and okay. you've got an extra bracket before the four, okay. parentheses. So if you get rid of that, it, be, it should work. Okay. Um, I have a question. So, yeah. It's just, uh, you want to just when there's a, yeah. following it, a variable that, you see a vectoring that gets Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. You actually run a function directly, but you've got to call it up in here. So what you can do is. Because when I do it. Oh, when you do it in here, it still gives you a problem. Yes, yeah, so you can never run a function directly unless unless it was already. Um, yeah, basically, if something starts in function, it can't run directly. But we can figure out like why. So what is it? Why the function isn't working in the first place? Not enough input arguments. Okay, show me your show me your. So what's coefficient right now? Uh, yeah, if you just type coef. Really, no clue. Okay. So see, the thing is you didn't, looks to me like, because I can look in the workspace, I see you haven't defined coefficient. Okay. So you have to define coefficient to be a three-dimensional vector uh -huh. of whatever coefficient you want. It's the A, B, and C. So you look, try, like, tr try, try doing something like coefficient equal bracket one, two, and three. Just do it okay. real quick. Yeah, then one, two, don't put commas. Oh. I mean, I don't, think, I don't know if you can put commas, but I never do. Okay, Th but put spaces because otherwise it's 123. Yeah, okay. Okay, now hit return, and now try to run your function, because now, now it knows what coefficient is. Mm -hmm. So now you run, your, you, run, you run the function here, though. Okay. okay. So g just type quadratic, for example, parenthesis coefficient. Okay, that's probably the roots. They just happen okay. to be complex in this case. Oh, and if you, wanted, right. if you wanted to save the solution, you could say x equals quadratic. Okay. And then it'll, it'll create a vector x with that answer in it. Right now, it just called it answer. Because when you don't specify something on the left-hand side, it always calls it answer. Okay. Okay? Thanks. Yeah. It says I don't have enough input arguments. Yep. Okay, so go your workspace. Okay, so you got coefficient there. Okay. It says it's a... A three-dimensional vector, okay. Go to your function. Huh. Right, well first of all, you gotta be careful the way you write your code because you see over here, what you have is you have divide by two, but you wanna divide by two A, so you gotta put two parentheses around two A, because what that